Number 5. Axeman of New Orleans This man has killed over 8 people during the time period between May 1918 to October 1919. There have been reports of killings happening before then as early as 1911, but nothing has ever been confirmed from that time period. This man would kill people with an axe, but it would never be his. It would always be the victims. The axemen would smash the back door, break in, and attack the victims in their own homes. And what makes this man's motive so odd is that almost all the victims would be female Italian Americans. Some say that his crimes could have been influenced by the Mafia, but once again, it's never been confirmed. He has killed some men, but criminologists say that he only attacked males if they were in the way of him getting to his main victim. And it doesn't stop there. There are theories that this man's crimes were not racially motivated or organized by the Mafia, but oddly enough, he was doing it to promote jazz music because of a letter that was apparently from the Axeman himself saying he was going to kill as many people as possible at 15 minutes past midnight on March 19th, but would spare anyone playing jazz music. Some people actually challenged him to come into their homes by leaving their windows and doors open, ready with guns, and asking that he not smash his way in. That night, every dance hall in New Orleans was packed to full capacity, and many, many people had parties where jazz music was played. Fortunately, the Axeman didn't kill anyone that night. Number 4. Ken Rex McElroy This man is quite the rap sheet. He was known as a town bully and has participated in many crimes, some of them being assault, child molestation, rape, arson, and the theft of cattle, grain, gasoline, alcohol, and random antiques. But that's the least of this man's crimes. He has been indicted 21 times but evaded conviction because of his intimidation of witnesses. He would follow them around or park outside their homes and let their paranoia and fear do the work for him. Fortunately, he was found guilty of shooting a 70-year-old grocer named Ernest Bo Bowenkamp, got arrested, and then got out on bail. After he was released, he started to seriously harass Bowenkamp. Eventually, the people had enough and McElroy was shot in broad daylight with about 30 to 45 witnesses on the main street in Skidmore, Missouri. Every witness said that they didn't even know who did it and that they were ducking for cover. Number 3. Long Island Killer This serial killer, the Long Island Killer, or his other aliases, Gilgo Beach Killer and Craigslist Ripper, have never been identified and has reportedly killed 10 to 17 people over the course of 20 years and would dump the corpses near Gilgo and Long Island Beach which police have said has been a prime location for dumping bodies for a while now. The chase started when authorities were trying to find a sex worker, 24-year-old Shannon Gilbert, but instead found four bodies in December 2010. Then not too long later, they found six more bodies in March and April of 2011. It is said that the bodies found most recently predated the bodies in 2010 and may have been the work of someone else and not the Long Island killer. But then again, we'll never know. The identity of the killer is said to be a white male in his mid-twenties to mid-forties that knows the south shore of Long Island and has unrestricted access to burlap sacks because every single body found was a sex worker advertising uh, services on Craigslist and then got strangled and disintegrated inside of a burlap sack. Number 2. Atlas Vampire a 32-year-old prostitute named Lily Lindstrom was found dead in her own apartment in the Atlas section of Stockholm, Sweden, very close by to St. Eric's Square. When the police found her, she had already been dead for almost three days. Authorities say that when they showed up, she was naked, face down in her bed, and had been beaten to death from blunt force. Also, there was a bloody gravy ladle found nearby. After further inspection, they found out that her body was drained of blood, and the perpetrator had used the ladle to drink it. Number 1. Oakland County Child Killer On February 15, 1976, a series of murders started in the Oakland County area in Michigan. The perpetrator started to abduct and murder children. In fact, there was four of them. Two girls and two boys. The Oakland County Child Killer would abduct the children and hold them from 4 to 19 days before killing them. After the series of murders, there was a massive statewide investigation. It was one of the largest investigations in the United States at the time which started a whirlwind of fear and mass hysteria. One of the victim's parents told reporters that their son's favorite meal was KFC, and when they did the autopsy, guess what they found? And that's right, KFC. Maybe the murderer knew his victims, maybe he didn't. But then again, we'll never know, because the suspect has remained unidentified to this day.